I'm T. Ma Bonnie, and today we're going to make a monogram pillow case, a set of monogram pillow cases that make beautiful gifts for weddings or for anniversaries. They're, they're very elegant. Monograms have a tradition, so if you're going to monogram a pillow case, what you want to do is put the large last name initial in the middle, a smaller first name women's initial to the left and a smaller first name men's initial to the right. This, uh, this is all put into a frame. So what you'll need to do this is a nice 100% cotton fabric, a piece of fabric for the little trim and this for this one we'll use this green fabric and matching thread that will will go well with the trim. Okay to get started you're going to want to start making your cut. So you want to cut a piece of fabric to make both cuffs at the same time. So go ahead and cut a piece of fabric 25 inches 25 inches wide and then we will we will go ahead and work and work with that okay so make sure you starch your fabric to give it some body that will make sure that when you go to the machine to do your machine embroidery that it has a better body so your embroidery works better then you want to take your cuffs lengthwise, fold them in half lengthwise, and you're going to you're going to press this lengthwise. You're going to press this lengthwise crease in. This is actually going to be your cut line when you cut your cuffs apart. So go ahead and make sure you get a nice kind of a crisp line lengthwise. So when you go to cut them apart, you know exactly where that center line is. Okay, so that's going to give you can see that you get a nice crisp line there. So the next one you're going to do is you're going to fold it in half this way. going to give yourself a little press here. And this is actually going to be the center line of your embroidery. So you'll give that a little press. Then you're going to take a ruler and you're going to go down three inches. And I use tailor tacks. They're, they're easy to pull out when you get to the sewing machine and you can you can see them easily so that so this works pretty well so now you're going to have the center of your embroidery right there now remember this is two cups so we're going to actually do the center of both embroideries so we're going to pull it apart, we're going to pull it apart, and we're going to cut, cut the tailor tacks. Well, my idea of a tailor tack I probably would, isn't totally traditional. I'm going to cut the tailor tacks apart. And now you see you have a center for your embroidery here, a center for your embroidery here, this will be one cup for the pillowcase. This will be the other cup for the pillowcase. When you go to lay out your actual embroidery at your sewing machine, you want to make sure that this monogram is heading towards the top and this monogram is heading towards the top. 
that's very important because when you put it on, you want people to see the monogram as it comes off the pillow. Okay, so now that you know you want your embroidery hoops to go this way, making sure that you always remember what your top, where your top should be. We want to actually put a line here so that you can register your embroidery hoop. So we'll just go ahead and find that, find that center. And we'll do a little crease there. And then we will put the embroidery hoop on. And actually I'm going to put the embroidery hoop on this way because there'll be more hanging over the back of your machine that way, more fabric and it's not going to be quite as difficult to fight with your fabric. So now just go ahead and take your hoop, match your, match those corner, those that line, match your center line. And hoop your fabric go ready to go to the sewing machine and hoop and and embroidery your monogram okay so now I've downloaded my embroidery designs on a jump drive since that's the media that my machine reads so I'm going to put it put the jump drive in and I want to go to the edit function of my machine sure you're sitting right over the center and then you want to pull out those marks that you had and you're ready to embroider once you have both monograms done now you're going to cut them apart so go ahead and we will start at this side and we will just start cut. Remember that cut line that you that you put in with your iron so carefully? We're just going to go right down that seam, that crease, and cut the cuts apart. Now, if you're more comfortable using your roller, by all means use it. You're going to have probably a straighter seam if you do it that way. Okay, so next we want to make the, the accent piece. So take whatever fabric you're going to use for your accent piece and go ahead and cut the strip that you're going to put between the cuff and the actual body of the pillowcase. So we'll go ahead and cut it. Okay. Now we want to fold it wrong sides together and we want to press it. Okay, next we're going to cut the body of the pillowcase. Okay, so what we want to do now is to mark the centers of the of the body. So just take a little tiny nip on this on each end of the body to mark your centers. So you can see now that You've got that little mark, that little divot, okay? Do the same with your, your strip. Now what we want to do is we want to smooth the accent piece, making sure that the raw ends are against the raw end on the body. Go ahead and smooth it nicely down on, right on top of, of your body, making sure everything's matching. Now you want to take your your actual embroidered piece. And again, make sure that you know where the center line is. You should have your center line still, still there. Okay, once you get that seam just basted in, notice that Here's your, here is your embroidery, it's close to this seam, and this is going to make the back side of your cup. What you want to do now is to give it a really nice press. Okay, so now that you have your 
basting done on the, along the top of the body, what you want to do is lay it with your cuff side down and smooth it out on your workspace. Smooth it out nicely. Take the bottom of your body, part of the pillowcase, do it within about an inch of the seam, pull it up, fold it one more time, and then fold it a third time. Okay, so now that you have that all nicely and folded, take your cuff and fold it up over that Bring your, bring your pieces together nicely and pin it. Okay, so now we have it finished. So what you need to do is actually go in and start turning it upside inside out. Just pull that case all the way out that body of your pillowcase and it's just going to fall out. And there it is. Okay, one once more we want to we want to fold using your monogram, using your monogram as the center. So you can this monogram with this frame it's easy to see where the center is. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut this evenly. So now, what we want to do is we want to do a French seam, which means that you're going to put it wrong sides together first, do an eighth of an inch seam, then we're going to press it, turn it over with the right sides together, and do a quarter inch seam. So let's go ahead and do that. So once you get it pressed, there you have a beautifully constructed monogram pillowcase for a wedding gift or an anniversary gift or lots of things. And if I were going, if I were going to gift it, I might put it in a basket with a couple of sleep masks, maybe some lavender, some kind of a lavender soap or sachet and some chamomile tea, those kinds of things that help you sleep. It makes a pretty basket. You can find this machine embroidery design plus the measured, the measured drawing and instructions at gmabani.com. We also have lots and lots of other designs and projects for you to look at and to enjoy and hopefully to use.